Hey guys, so today I'm back. I don't even remember like if I put a setup for like um Adobe Substance Painter. Well, let me, I gotta check if my mic is on. Okay, I'm not talking for nothing. So sorry if my voice is like very very low, it's cause I'm sick and yeah. So when you first open up like Adobe Substance Painter, it will be looking like this. For anybody that don't know how to use it, right there you got like the properties of your items. Sometimes you might not see it like this and it might just be on your screen, but you still have it. You just have gotta like figure out the setup of your Adobe Substance Painter. So right here is the, like the texture balls and stuff. So you have the materials. Um, so this one is mostly like um, the adaptable materials that those you can add color and stuff to it so you got multiple other stuff like shading um, brushes halfers and a whole bunch of stuff so yeah so this is what you need to know when you're gonna import a file your mesh is gonna be here and your 2d view is gonna be here to import the file you go in file new file you do selection and then you go here and you just like select any item that you have I'm gonna go somewhere like more easy because it's just to show you guys how to do like a latex, a latex texture so it's nothing big so I'm gonna just take this pleated skirt that I have and you gotta like make sure it's on like 1024 you just press on ok and it's gonna import the skirt like it's gonna show that it's loading and stuff to import the skirt um this video has been asked by a subscriber so if ever you guys see that the video is not yet posted it's cause I'm filming they have two other videos I gotta do so I'm just filming it and I'm gonna try to post it you know randomly so yeah so the question was how to do um uh like latex texture when you reach in like adobe substance well you have like the materials so is the materials that be giving you like the textures that you want so to get like a real latex latex texture you have like the latex black so you're just gonna like slide it on the skirt as you see the latex is looking like mm, I don't know so you go in properties then you go down and you will see like bake meshes so you click on bake then you just bake all the textures but if you got like a high poly you can add it on it but I don't have so I will not add it and now that you bake the textures you can see like it looking like more settled so you go ahead on like this little tool is called um, this is like mostly like the shading the environment and stuff so you're gonna like pick an environment that's gonna like make it look more so we're gonna wait till it load so you see depending on the environment your latex is like more um settled and less just see and you click on this to like rotate the latex so when you reach at this point if you want to like export it out for second life so your latex can be like on it and stay there as you placed it you're gonna go at like export textures you're not exporting the mesh you're gonna export the textures and you're gonna need like a preset you know you're gonna like select where you want the file to go you can put it like maybe um pictures um, you go back and close, you do this, 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 and you set it somewhere. Then you go here, you put new preset. That's what I did. New preset. You set this on PNG. You put it 1024. You leave this at there. Then for my preset, I'ma like 
give you guys the time to like copy so you go ahead for here and you add a regular rvb this is like regular rvbs for all it's just like the thing that changes so you gotta make sure um you add the rvb you change the name saying that you put them um, f then you wanted to like take this that the 2d view and you grab it inside and you put like gray candle or rvb candle it's between one of those but you guys gonna like test and try to see which one give you like the free lines but i think i don't know yeah it's rvb so okay so i'll find that like stop recording so it's rvb so you're gonna put the 2d in rvb then you gotta set up the ambience occlusion the normal pnl and you gotta add the roughness so this is how you gonna like set it up for all to work okay so those like free dots is like rvb that is gray and that one is gray too okay to add, you can see on the name so you have the 2d view in rvb you have the ambient occlusion in gray you have the other normal op open gl in rvb and i have the roughness in gray okay so this is your setup then you're gonna save it add a name and stuff to add a new preset is you just gonna click on the little plus it's gonna add the new preset right here okay if you want to remove it you just remove it like that so do this before you export it out. once you have those presets set up when you're gonna export out your textures it's still gonna have um, then you're going to do export, but when you're going to export out the textures in the file you want It's going to have the shading that you want it to have It's going to be looking like this on your UV maps So this part is mostly what the UV map is going to be And this is where like your mesh is going to be as I said um, If ever you want to still have the roughness and add a picture You go ahead in um, the color tab You open this you select base color and it's going to like pop it up and for the base color saying you want to I don't know they have like little textures you want to add a texture you can add like a texture or you can import a texture I already have like some textures that I imported you can say that I wanted to import a texture let me show you guys how we do it so you guys will not be like oh but how do we import the texture so saying that i wanted to um let's go import um what can i import this so you're just gonna drag it on the screen it's gonna pop you up like a little thing you're gonna put like textures put like save in your assets and then import it that's how you import a texture and it's gonna like pop up straight in your assets and just drag it here and there you go and you can use this little tool if the texture is too wide to like scale it down and place it where you want to place it so this is how you use like substance to get like the same latex texture and still add a texture at the back okay so if ever you don't want the texture and you just want to have the base color but it's like still be able to change the color you can use this little tool and just change the colors of like your skirts your tops your shoes like anything that like turns around texture and colors and stuff so this is how you get to get the latex black and like add color change the texture and stuff like that so i really hope this video helped you and definitely i'm gonna see you guys in my other video this video will not be long but i just wanted to thank you guys for 300 subscribers and if you guys want to follow me on my tiktok go ahead um also, I think I'm gonna on my social media down below for everybody that be asking me, oh, what's your Instagram and stuff and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna be putting that down below. So, I'm sorry for my voice. Also, I'm gonna have to um, speak louder. So, if you guys are not hearing me in my videos, please let me know. 
And sometimes with the music, you guys aren't hearing me like fully. So let me know. Um, I really hope you guys like this video. And thank you again for following me and for the support. Um, and I will see you guys in my other video. Love you guys. And as I would say, bye.